Overseas voting for Myanmar's general election begins tomorrow. There are nearly 110,000 overseas citizens who have registered to vote, much higher than the 35,000 voters in the last election in 2015. The election will take place on November the 8th. The government is resisting pressure to delay the vote as Myanmar struggles with a new wave of COVID-19 infections. Nearly 800 new cases have been confirmed today. Young Waikit is live for us at the Myanmar Embassy here in Singapore. Good evening, Waikit. The embassy has set aside a good 18 days for voters in Singapore. Why such a long stretch? I mean, what arrangements have been made for overseas voters? Well, Don, to answer your question, I'll have to introduce my background to you. This is the Myanmar Embassy, and to your left, this uh, walkway here, which is unsheltered, um, a short walk from here, opens up to Tangling Road where you can find landmarks like uh, St. Regis Hotel as well as Tangling Mall, both in Singapore's shopping district of Orchard Road. So in 2015, during the general election overseas voting, back, back then the Myanmar community here, the, the response was so overwhelming that the queues formed very long all the way to some parts of Orchard Road. I've spoken to Myanmar nationals who still recall standing in line for some 17 hours before they could cast their ballot. So this is a twofold reason for 18 days stretch. One, it is a reflection that the authorities are reviewing from their past experience. And two, also because Singapore has strict COVID-19 guidelines. So there are some 32,000 eligible voters in Singapore and they will have to be spaced out evenly in the course of 18 days. Now, as I speak, uh, you can still see some people standing outside. These are workers, these are staff of the embassy putting up finishing touches to get ready for the uh, elections in Singapore that will start on October 1st. And this is similar situations in some 44 other embassies, consulates and missions across the world where Myanmar nationals are also starting to vote starting this week. Yes, and there is one month to go before Myanmar heads to the polls, the people there. How smooth, though, can we expect things to be given that there has been a surge in COVID-19 cases? Well, Steve, this is a very valid question to ask every day, given that the situation is changing in Myanmar. And as you've mentioned earlier, you've cited some figures of COVID-19. It's very evident that Myanmar is still combating COVID-19. But the authorities have made a firmer step in the next electoral uh, timeline. They have, or, or today on October 1st, released their final voters list. That means some 37 million voters in Myanmar will have to go out to the township's offices to check their names, check their details, whether their names are correctly tagged to the correct townships that they're uh, supposed to vote in. But it's going to be difficult for people in Yangon, for instance, because the entire city is under lockdown. So they're not able to physically go to offices to check against their name list. So they're given two weeks, so these people have to do it online. Now, the next few things that we're keeping a very close watch on is, number one, whether or not there are any further uh, errors or complications with this round of voters list. And number two, even though the Myanmar uh, elections body wants to hold elections on November 8, we will also have to wait to see whether they declare certain parts of Myanmar to be unsafe for voting because of security and safety reasons. Waikit, thank you very much for that update. That was Leong Waikit there outside the Myanmar embassy here in Singapore.